Hey there, Christopher from TechLogix Networks here today to talk about our new mechanical splice kit. It is the UNIV Splice 5. Uh, it's a five pack of mechanical splices. Um, I'm here today to talk to you about some tips and tricks that'll make your life easier when you're terminating. Um, uh, the entire instructions start to finish are in a quick start guide, which I'll link down there below the video. Um, or if you're on the product page, it'll be down there as well. Um, so let's get started. Um, first off, you're going to get a package with five of these. These are the, uh, the splices themselves. Um, you're going to get one jig um, for cleaving, and then there are some buildup tubes. We're not, not going to use the buildup tubes today. Those are to go from 250 to 900 micron um, fiber. Now, if you were using like a loose tube or something, you might, you might need those, but um, with all of our eco fiber, that's all 900 micron buffer, so, um, so we won't need those. Um, also in the kit are some um, dust claws. I've got my Kim wipes here today, so I'm not gonna use those either. Uh, we're just gonna talk about these, uh, these de uh, small devices here. Um, so, first thing we should talk about, really, is the preparation of the fiber. Um, we're going to use a, a cleave jig, and this will ensure that the, uh, the, the fiber is the correct length uh, after cleaving to work correctly in the mechanical splice. So you can take your, um, your fiber optic cleaver. Uh, this is an eco cleave. This is from an eco term kit. So um, just take a small uh, uh, Phillips screwdriver underneath the magnetic lid uh, on the included jig. Just unscrew that. And I like to use the magnet on the lid to hold my screw. Uh, just remove that and put that aside. So um, when we get the fiber in here, this with this mechanical jig, you're just going to slide that right up. You're going to slide that right up to the um, to this guide on the cleaver, and we'll know that the fiber is the correct length. Um, also, on, uh, to note on this jig. You, there's two sides. There's the 900 micron and a 250 micron. So again, if you were using 250 micron, which we're not, so we're going to use uh, this side. So that's going to fit into that slot. So um, about preparation of the fiber. So let's go here. So you can see I've got, um, I've got a 12 strand fiber here. Single mode I'm going to use. Let's use the red one this time. All right, so I'm going to need my three-hole stripper, also from my termination kit. I'm going to start with the middle hole, and so I'm taking this down from the 900 micron colored buffer down to the 250 micron coating. And so I'm just going to take a little bit off at a time, like maybe 10 millimeters. And if you feel it binding up or um, choking up at all, uh, just take a little bit less and pull that, try to pull it straight off. Um, so three or four of those should do you. Uh, so I've got all of those off and I don't know if you can see it, but we have gone down now from two, uh, the 900 micron to the 250 micron coating. We're not done yet with this. I need to go down to the 125 micron. So um, I'm gonna take my stripper. This is now the smallest hole here. The small hole is the 125. And I'm going to drop that in the, uh, the groove and I'm going to line that up so that the 900 micron buffer is just pushing against the blade of my stripper and holding it perpendicular to the fiber. I'm just going to drag that off. And uh, I go back a second time and I do, uh, I take the stripper and turn it to about a 45 and I draw that off again. That just gets some of the, uh, the extra coating. Um, off of there. So now we're down to the 125 micron. Uh, at this point, what I want to do is I'm just going to cleave, sorry, clean the fiber before cleaving it. Um, so a little bit of alcohol and the dust free cloth, and just wipe that down. So now I'm going to put this into my jig. So as you can see on this slot here, there's a positive stop for the end of the 900 micron, and then this is for the bare fiber. And so I'm gonna line up my 900 micron 
so that it's right at the end of that stop. And now I'm going to take this button, I'm going to slide it forward, and that captures the uh, captures the fiber so it doesn't move when we're when we're cleaving it. So I'm going to take my jig with my fiber. And here's an important thing to note, is that you should have enough fiber so that it spans the gap entirely. And your jig needs to be pressed up against that guard. So then I'm going to close my cleaver. And that's it. I'm going to drop my glass into the catch. And now I'm going to undo that. I'm going to release that fiber from the jig. And the hardest part to do on camera is to get that fiber into the end of that splice. So there's a just a little tube. I'm going to line that up. Okay, went in. So I'm going to press the fiber in until it's um, until it stops. Then I'm going to I'm taking this barrel and I'm moving it towards the center of the splice, and that. Uh, captures on the buffer of the the buffer jacket of the fiber so it's going to hold that in place so that I can get the other end in. Once I got the other end in I can press that button in and that completes the uh, completes this place. Um, there's one more thing I wanted to show you before we're done here and that is I want to show you what a completed one looks like um, when you look at it with a VFL. So I've got my VFL with an LC adapter I'm going to use, I've got some LC connectors on with a splice in between them. And so I turn my, turn that on. And so you can see that the light is coming out of the end of this connector. Um, that's from the VFL, but you can also see on this splice, there's no light leaking out from that inspection window. If there was, um, you know that's bad. You don't want any light to leak, so you need to re-terminate that. All right, well, I think that's about all we need to talk about today. Um, if you have any more questions, check the, uh, check the product page at tlnetworks.com. If you can't find what you're looking for there, just send us an email at support at tlnetworks.com. Thanks for watching.